So I wanted to do a video that at least gave people a starting point for getting a better image quality on YouTube. So first things first, I do have another tutorial that goes into great depth explaining bitrate and how all that stuff. And it does focus a little bit on Twitch, although most of that information does carry over to YouTube. So in vi this video, I want to cover some of the differences in YouTube because if you use those same settings on Twitch that you use on YouTube, when the first things you'll notice is, man, the quality is not as good over here on YouTube. Well, that's because things work differently on YouTube. So I'm going to show you what I mean by that here in a minute. So first thing we're going to go in our OBS, we're going to go to settings, we're going to open this up and we're going to go to output. Now let's talk about this. There's different encoding standards. I'm not going to get into everything, but there is AVC and there is VP nine, both of those that YouTube uses and they change the reasons and the times that they use each one. What you want, if at all possible is VP nine. So with VP nine, you can get a better picture with a lower bit rate. And that's what we want. And the way we, f we can force that is by 1440 P streams are a guaranteed way at the time this video is made to get VP nine encoding from YouTube. So what we want to do is we're going to go into your streaming settings. We want to go. Nvidia, if you have an Nvidia card preferred, you can always do X264 if you don't have an Nvidia card. We do not want to enforce streaming service encoder settings. We do not want to rescale output. Now this is presuming you are gaming at 1080p, have a 1080p canvas. If you already have a 1440p monitor and have a 1440p, you know, canvas, either way you don't have to worry with this. Your rate control is always going to be CBR. Now, my bit rate, and I recommend this for a starting point for everyone. So I started, I really wanted to test the limits. You have some crazy bit rate caps. I have, you know, I'm lucky I have high upstream. I have a gig upstream that I can use. So you want to make sure you have, you know, 25 meg or more, you know, 20 meg or so upstream. And I mean, actually getting that you need to run a speed test make sure you're actually getting that speed and then i would actually start around thirteen thousand because i tried 18k and it looks crisp and it looks great but it's it really wasn't necessary with the vp9 codec so i turned it down to thirteen thousand, and that actually has worked pretty good so going over here to our youtube stream key I do have another video that will go into more detail if you need help setting up your stream keys and your YouTube streaming. On my stream key for this setting, I'm using this section here. So six meg to 13 meg. So I've got it capped out at 13,000. That is recommended for 1440p. Make sure you enable 60 FPS slider right here if you are doing 60 FPS. If you are gaming, I presume most people are gonna to want to do 60 FPS. Next keyframe interval is going to be two. Here's another big one after that, preset. Now on your preset for Nvidia cards, you can do max quality. I personally stick to quality because it frees up a good bit of resources. Cause when you do max Q, it's doing a second pass. So it's making sure it's getting, you know, the best quality it can out of each frame that passes by. But I would test it out with quality first and just look at the output and the results. And in every chance I've done that, it's freed up GPU resources quite a little bit. And I get a crisp picture, a beautiful picture still. So I really recommend running quality, at least play with it first. Profile, I have that set to high. Look ahead, I do not use look ahead. And I do not use the psycho visual tuning because that can do some weird things. GPU zero, that's just which slot you're using, which is only one GPU for most of us. Max B frames is set to two. That's an important one too. Now these two are set. All of this is YouTube standards. I mean, this is what YouTube recommends for this bit rate that we're streaming at. And I've learned you can work outside of those things, but at the end of the day, 
it's best to just go ahead and go by whatever the platform recommends because there's a reason for that. So for example, when I was streaming at 18,000 kilobit, it had a crisp picture. I was happy with it, but every once in a while, some of my viewers would have issues with the stream. It, either there was additional latency or some other weird issues that would happen. So once I bumped it down to 13K, 13,000K, everything seemed to be considerably better. So I, I highly recommend just trying this out. This isn't a one size fits all by any means. I just wanted to share my settings as something one set that I know works. The other section that we want to go to is going to be video. I'm recording right now, so I can't change this. I want to show you a trick. If you game at 1080p, you only have 1080p monitors. You can't do 1440p. So what you can do, your base canvas is, is going to be 1080p. Now, if you already have 1440p, you're not going to have to worry with this. After that 1080p, you can go to your output. And generally, you're not going to have this option in the drop down, but you can type in 2560 by 1440. Now that's 1440p. The downscale filter I use, which we're actually upscaling in this case, is Lanxos. And of course, we want 60 FPS. And just by doing those things, these settings here, and these output settings here, our stream quality on YouTube has absolutely gone through the roof compared to what it was when we just tried to send, you know, 9,000 bit rate for 1080p because my thought was like, uh, eh, 1080p looks okay at 6,000 bit rate on Twitch. Let's throw 9,000. I bet it's going to look amazing on YouTube. And it looked worse. And it's just because of the different ways they handle it. YouTube, the more bit rate you can send them, the better it's going to look. They work on just throwing bit rate at issues. Whereas Twitch has learned how to be a little more efficient with the way they tweak things and the tricks they do with their bitrate. So try these out. One of the cool things about YouTube is you can actually do private streams or unlisted streams. So whenever you set up your stream, you can go in, let me go ahead and show you that just in case you're not familiar with it. Get out of the stream key section, edit. You'll just set up a scheduled stream. Again, I have a, another video showing you how to go through all this. And you can set the visibility here. So you can change it to either unlisted or private. And then you can test it out for yourself. So you can start streaming and then go ahead and see, look in your OBS and your tray and see if you get any encoder overload messages or anything like that. So if you do, you may need to turn things down. Everybody's not gonna be able to do 1440p upscaling, but for, for the record, I'm running a RTX 3070 right now i looked out i was one lucky for you to get one of those but you can actually do it with an rtx 2070 i've done it just fine with that so you can play around with your hardware and just see what you can do that's one option i just want to show you if you have the hardware this is a pretty nifty little trick that i don't think is going to hit you too hard to get an incredible quality on your stream if nothing else it's a good starting place and just work from there. So if you have any issues, have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. Any any troubleshooting, anything you want, you can hop in the Discord. I have that in the description. Website at classiccaleb.pro. If you want to hang out sometime, I have my schedule posted on classiccaleb.pro. We have another channel. It's Classic Caleb Plays. That's also listed below. If you just want to hang out, come talk to me and stream totally cool about talking about streaming you know want to help troubleshoot whatever it's a fun time to hang out all right i hope this helps somebody thanks